guys, this is one of these stories, as you might say, it's racial profiling or not. Y'all give me y'all opinion on it. Um, by me reviewing this already, I just had to come and show my, my family, my kings, my queens, what's going on. This was recorded last year around August. This young man right here, he said that he's in NBA Young Boys Camp or whatever. I don't know what that means and all that. So he went to this store. I don't know if it's located in Georgia or not, but it's a store called Fr uh, Fran G Gamo. It's like an upscale store. But anyways, so this is my comment. This got over 4.3 million views. So it went viral back then, but it's now resurfacing now. So I said, this is crazy. We need to see those security cameras because what he stated was that he walked into the store. He went to the mirrors and was checking himself out for whatever reason. But, you know, just from, you know, judging the book by its cover, he got on, like, all leather. He probably got some skinny jeans with holes in them and, and um, bobby pins and all that kind of stuff. Look like, a you know, one of the punk rock hits. Hair is, you know, dreaded. He don't look like he got money. Again, judging the book by its cover. So, he's, you know, people don't have to look like they got money to have money. So, you can say it was racial profiling, but I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about it. So, again, he went into this upscale store inside of a mall, I guess, and he wanted to purchase a belt. Um, Within the store, he said by 30, he wouldn't even store for 30 seconds, the young man well, one of the store employees asked him to leave, which then here he goes back and forth on what for, who will not. My opinion is this. Well, I'll give y'all that my commentary. I'm gonna let you guys see this content, and please let's get in the comment in the comments and get a conversation popping on you guys' opinion. What would you have done in this situation? I just walked in, right? Mm -hmm. I'm being real with you, brother. Okay. I just walked in. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I, I'm telling you what happened, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm on video. Yeah, yeah. I walked straight and looked in the mirror. This guy right here got the camera on me. I said, bro, I just walked in. I said, you ain't give me no time to, like, you feel me? Even right. look at what I want. Right. Right? Right. Bro, it ain't even been 30, I'm on video. It's not yeah. even been 30 seconds I walked in a Ferragama store. And this man already questioned me, if you need help, I said, no, I'm still looking. Well, that's that's part of their job, they're just supposed I to said, greet no. you. I you said, know? no, I'm still looking. Yeah. With all due respect, right? Right. So then, he wanted to keep, like, he wanted to, oh, if you want to look in the mirror, then you can go somewhere else. I'm like, excuse me, sir, you don't know who you're talking to right now. With all due respect, I'm gonna keep it positive. I say all the ne negative energy you have, I'm gonna take it some, take it somewhere else, and redirect it somewhere else. Okay. Did, did she ask you to leave her? I did. I don't really, I don't really know her. At the end of the day, she asked me, "Did I need help?" I told her I did not need help. I was oh, in a mirror. So there's a thing. They, they work here. It, bro, there's a, there's a, it's cool, there's a so business. I'm, it's cool. So it, it's cool. It's, it's, it's a business you? too. I'm a business too, and son. So you you can decide who you want to do business with, correct? Exactly. Okay, and they don't they would exactly. they requested you to be removed from the store. So Brother, can please leave. Listen, with all due respect, I'm not worried about none of these people. I'm gonna go about my business. Or what y'all ain't finna do is try to play me like I'm a whole or something. I'm not nobody's trying to play you, sir. All right, I'm just letting We're you know being respectful and you know. And what's hold on before I leave? What's the problem with you again? What's my problem? What, what I do I have to nothing you? else to say to you. Huh? I have nothing else what to I say do? to you. Pablo is asking for you to leave. What I do? Did you hear what I just said? I'm saying you said I got to go. You asked me a question so and I asked you to leave. What I do though? Sir. What I do to offend you? What I do if to you offend you? don't leave, I have to call more guards to have you escorted out of our store. You can store. do whatever you have to do. Okay, I'm just I'm letting just you know what the option is. The quicker right? you answer the question, the quicker I don't quicker have to I answer your question, then, sweetheart. Then call your people then. Okay. I'm being done. And then, like, that part right there, you guys, she's talking, saying all this. He's saying all that. I'm about to call more guards to escort you out. Um, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. 
you saying all this besides what he asked you he asked you a specific question why was I asked to leave yeah it's the store policy when someone asks you to leave their business leave their business we don't have to escalate we don't have to go back and forth you can put your cameras out and do what the hell you want to do our storage has cameras too and audio works so um, it's, it's two things when um, it's like a, that double edged sword someone actually their business we don't have to give you a response or a value a value a valid reason to leave we just want your ass by our store and that could be racial profiling on how he was dressed it's not a good look for our store you 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 don't have proper attire so it's like I said it's that double Ed sword. He has money. He has a lot of money. We don't know what type of money he has. He can be a millionaire, all that we know. We don't know that. He he's dressed the way he dressed. So it's, it's you could say it's racial profiling, but then again, we don't know because he asked her, "Ma'am, why was I asked to leave this store? I don't have to give you a reason." So it shouldn't also be put into place if someone actually leaves their establishment what is the reason oh just because I, I wanted to tell you to leave because I'm having a bad day oh I don't like the color black so I want you to leave oh I don't like you because you got dreads so I'm actually leave what is the valid reason that you asking this man to leave your store he came in there he said he had been there for 30 seconds he looked in the mirror and you asked him to leave. Also, he's been, yeah, he was been a little combative, okay, here and there, yeah. But let's keep going. God bless you. Call your people in there. It's Blue Slime Baby checking in on Slime. 4K trade, that ain't on me. On me. They think I'm broke. I got more money. God bless you, Queen. Matter of fact, I'm finna buy me a belt. Slime. I want this belt right here. What I do is think I want that bill right there. I want the bill. I'm gonna buy the bill. I want the bill. I want the bill. I do. I have the money to purchase this bill. I want this bill. I want this bill. I want this bill. Slime, y'all see that one? It's them who want to sell me designer, bro. Why you want to sell it to me? Make your money. I got the money on my car right now. I want the bill. Queen, I'm, I'm mailing it like you. I'm looking, I'm talking to you. You on video. Sir. At the end of the day, I never disrespected you, Queen. This is on Did video. Did you ask her if you could record her? At the, at, at the end, I have the right to record, brother. No, 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 That's my right, bro. That's my right, bro. That's my right, bro. No, I'm private property. No, you're not. Bro, you no, right, bro. I'm Congress. You don't know who I am, bro. Okay. God bless you, bro. Thank I you. keep telling you that. With all due respect, I want to purchase that belt. Okay. They're not allowing you to you purchase, purchase anything today. Belt from another location. Then if y'all have to escort me, I can look. This going live, bro. I'm in Ferragamo right now. It's blue slime, baby. Like I just said, I have the funds to purchase this belt. They being disrespectful to me. If they want to escort me out this store, they're going to escort me out this store then. That's what's going to happen today. I'm being escorted out of Ferragamo. That's what's going to happen. That's how we want to play the game. I'm standing right here. Like I said, I got the money for the bill. I want the bill. That's on God. Bro, describe me all day. Hey, I'm doing my job. Just God bless you, bro. It's like, I don't know why you looking at me like I got a face. I said God bless you like so many times Thank in the video. You. Thank you. I really mean that. I like your little VVS ones you got in your ear, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Come get them. Because I'm not walking out that door because y'all came at me so violent. God bless you, too, bro. You're looking, King. Listen, with all due respect, my name is Samuel. I came in to purchase a belt. And they didn't even give me the chance to, like, it was 30 seconds went by. I'm already being racially profiled, sir. I came in, I looked in the mirror. This tall gentleman right here, he asked me, did I need help? I said, sir, I do not need help at the moment. I said, can you give me time to look what I want? I haven't even had the time to look at what I want yet. Finally, this woman right here, with all due respect, she came up to me and said, um, uh, like, do you need help? And I also told her, I said, hey, I'm looking in the mirror right now. I just had came from college. 
just came from school and I said, hey, I'm looking in the mirror right now. She wanted to tell me that I could not look in the mirror in here. She wanted to tell me that I had to leave. And I asked her, what's the reason? I never damaged any property. I never disrespected nobody. I let her know who I am. I'm Phil K. Trey, that age. I'm, I'm NBA young boy people. At the end of the day, I finally made a decision and I want to purchase that belt. And she told me that I couldn't purchase the belt. And I don't understand like, what, what, what seems to be the problem. That's it. Now, sir, if you want me to leave, I will. That's 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 up to you. I'll just walk out. And so I don't know if he's the owner of the store or whatever. I never heard of the store before, you guys. And so, you know, him being a businessman, a, a properly businessman, hey, you, you want this belt, sir? Well, let me escort you over here to the belt section. Here you go. We're not going to turn our money to not, uh, not me. I'm the owner of this, though, of this establishment. So let me walk you over here to these belts, sir, and pick out these expensive, fast mother, mm, you know, belts costing over $100. He could have went to DD Discount, <laughs> if y'all know what the discount is, DD's Discount, and got him a $10 bill. <laughs> or even if it costs that much. But I'm not a comedian. That was just funny to me. <laughs> you want to buy at the belt? Yes, sir, I did. Come I on, baby. I everything. Do you want to buy it now? Yes, sir. Yeah, come on. Great, come, come on. Come on. Uh, he did not specify what belt. I did ask if he needed a sweater. If there's a belt, you want to buy it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come yeah. on. Great, please. That he decided he wanted to get it out, okay? Yeah. No, if you want to buy a belt, we'll Thank you. We'll show you a belt. So, oh, yes. so you're at 32. Peter, which he's not allowed to support us. But because they, she mentioned, excuse me, she mentioned that... Out of nowhere, I was being so polite because this is a woman. I don't disrespect females. She mentioned that she would call extra guards to escort me out of here. So with me being by myself, I had the natural thought process of to pull out my camera and record. That's anybody in a situation like that. Authorities coming, your natural thought process is what? Pull out a phone. Whether you know the right to record or not, that's what the natural thought process is. Like, I don't see, I don't know what the problem is. I told her I'm mailing it, she mailing it. God bless her. She a queen, I'm a king. I don't know what the problem is here. I wear a size 32 on belt. I just want to get the belt and I'll go by my way. Just want a belt. So, like I said from the beginning. Yes. Can I assist you with anything? You said you didn't need my assistance. Man, I was still, I just walked in, y'all ain't getting two belt, minutes. you want more time to look at the belt? Yes. So you can do this. If you want to yeah, yeah. pick out a belt, we'll Thank it. you. We'll be happy to sell it to you. Bro, I'm so happy uh, now, y'all. Look. Get the fuck out of it. She got to be cussing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to be professional. Y'all got to be cussing. <laughs> so what's, what's the problem? <laughs> uh, they have asked you to leave, so... Okay, y'all, so, that being, y'all done seen the video, y'all done heard it, y'all done even heard my commentary, so, get in the comments, let me know, what do you guys thought about the situation, she, okay, she said that, um, she did ask him for help, even the, um, the other guy, he asked him, do he need help too, how many people gonna come and ask me the same question, the stuff ain't even that big, he only asked the mirror, so he didn't move from one post to another post, so, I mean, where you come from? He just asked me that I need help. Now, you want to come ask me some help? Someone else going to ask me the same question? I'm still standing in the mirror? So, you didn't like how the way I said it? Um, no, I'm still looking in the mirror. I don't need your help or your assistance. Thank you. So, she said he didn't even go to the belts yet. Okay, he didn't go to the belts yet. But, you asked him a question and he answered it. No, I don't need your assistance. Thank you. So, I mean... It's it's all this is kind of petty and and silly. If you want my my honest opinion, he could have just left the store and not be combative. And it is sad that someone made a statement on on Doctor Rickley is that it's sad that um we are conditioned to pull out our cell phones when there's a problem that we may have created. Because we was asked to leave a place that we were walking into, potential to um, spend money. But again, another thing in the, in the comments. Would you still want to spend your money at this establishment? I mean, he, he didn't personally hire those people, whoever that he, char that he put in charge to hire her, another guy. It's on them. But it does make a bad name for his store, for Peter's store. That's what's his name, Peter. 
And she was getting off a little, you know, how do you want to call it? Black women angry. She was getting a little Shaniqua and Shaquana. But at the end of the day, he got his belt. Now he's happy. He can go back to doing what he's doing in the NBA Young Boy Camp. But he said he was coming from college, so he is getting his education. He ain't out there doing any other things. So I don't know him, so I don't know. But we know NBA Young Boys, his people. So. This is our Queen's TV. I'm Queen Red. And thank you guys for viewing this content. And I will see my kings and my queens, my crowns and my tiaras later, baby. Because it's a thing called life. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but put your faith in God. He will see you through. He is all understanding. God love you. I love you. And I hope you love yourself even more. I'm not going to give y'all no long speech behind that. I'm going to keep it just like that. Simple as that. Don't forget to thumb up the content. If you want to support me financially, you can do so through Cash App, Super Thanks, Super Chat, Super Sticker, yada yada yee, and yada yada yada. Peace, blessings, and abundance to all my kings and my queens. Bye, y'all. Thank you.